Hello out there, this is DZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea PC. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I am the Overlord Desiran, and we have returned once more to the world of Disgaea. Oh my. Now, again. I've done some grinding in the back in the uh, meantime. I have to admit, this is one of the better ideas I've had. This can work out quite well, just from the sheer fact that um, excuse me, just from the sheer fact that uh, yeah, that made sense. Um, Basically, with a full week between episodes, I've got plenty of time to grind my butt off and um, make sure that episodes that will make sure I've grinded enough to um, progress without any worries. So it'll keep things nice and streamlined. All right. Either way. Currently, we are going to go after Flan. I am hoping we shall be finishing the chapter shortly. <clears throat> hmm, do we want any new equipment? I don't think we need it really at the moment, but... Well, what's everyone using? Crab pincer. Scratch Claw, uh, I gotta say, let's switch you back to a staff. The Witch's Staff, okay. Crab Pincer, Battle Axe. We could use some better weapons. That is a thing we could possibly use. Not that we have the money for it. <clears throat> Ooh. Ninja sword looks nice. But. Koshimoto spear. Long spear. Pixie bow. Guns. Tomahawk. Interesting. Okay, so that is a level 3 and 2 gladiator. That is a level 6 gladiator. Interesting. Okay, hold on. There's got to be something between crab pincer and poison needle. It can't be that much of a jump. Bat parasol? Oh, poison needle is the mid-range. Ah, I see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, either way, we're gonna go in. We're heading after Flan. Not going to dick around. How persistent! Are all demons like this? I have no other choice. I'll have to use a sleep spell. Nighty night! Oh, no, you don't! Friar Fire Frapparesque! Flames, burn that girl to the ground! Berry Barrier Balladare! Mirror Reflect the Flames! Uh-oh. He's mad. Uh, 
Okay, how's this looking? Uh, we got a couple of those. Wait, what are these called? Name, Valgus, class, Imp. A couple of imps. A lot of zombies. Ooh, what are you? A gremlin. Level 7. Hmm. Okay. Levels are starting to get up there. Alright. Well, well, Harl, I think you can handle this pretty easily. As for the other three... Uh, who go, who's going out? Nora Panda Skull Splitter. Sure, we'll get Egg out. The Prinnies. Actually, can Etna hit anyone from where she sees? Eh. Defend yourself, Egg. <laughs> For now. Etna, come on out. Defend. We'll get the Prinnies out. Oh, defend. Everyone's going to join this party. Defend. Defend. And lastly, Ayase. Although we don't want you fighting, honestly. Oh, they're coming. Okay, Laharl, you head back. You, you've got plenty of experience. You don't need more. Okay. I'm gonna do this. That works. Uh, eh, another skull splitter. I'll finish this. Boom. Down for the count. Hey, I'll say a little bit of healing action. We'll end turn there. <laughs> Here come the imps. Oh, whoa, what happened? Oh, they poisoned him? You bitch. Let's get rid of that poison. There we go. Much better. Ooh. Aren't you a biggie? You're a biggin'. Okay, Etna, let's position you here. One, two, three. Oop. Good old Prinny Barrage. I'll finish this. Come on, Norpanda. You can do oh damn it. You can't do it. Ah, crap. Well, that didn't quite work out. But, we do have a height advantage, which is good. Boom. Come on, Etna. Yeah. There we go. Etna and Egg working together. Okay. We're good. Oh, here they come. Oh, God. 
They're poisoning everyone if they can. Yep, they poisoned a lot of people. Okay, I need to take these guys out now. Uh, okay. You take out that one. Uh, you should be able to deal with this one without too much difficulty. Let's see how this goes. Boom. Clown down. Come on, egg. Yeah. Okay, only one left. Uh, one, two, three, four. Damn it. He can't printy barrage. Oh, and the printies have already attacked. Ah, bloody hell. Okay. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Egg move in. Etna, get to the side. This should be more than enough. Sky lunge. Boom. Done. Oh, boy. That was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Save. Okay. We need to look into some... 5,000 to spend. Shocking grasp. Wait a minute. No, no, what's this? Hmm. Gaining 25, 10, 10, and 20. So I'm going to at least try and get them some better weapons. Oh boy. Actually, if I give that to Egg, he could be quite the powerhouse. But then again, I should probably focus on main characters for the moment. Which means I should probably get Etna a really good weapon. Bogus spear. Long spear. No, 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 no. Not quite what I'm looking for. Bronze sword. Here we go. Koshimoto spear. That could work. She loses 3 HP, but she gains... Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Staff, Tomahawk. Well, okay. Hold on, hold on. Who else do I want to have a better weapon? I could turn Ayase to attack mode, which means giving her a bow. Then again, Norpanda is kicking ass. So is Egg. The Prinnies... Yeah, Laharl's already pretty high up there. For this level, I mean. Yeah, we'll give Norpanda a better weapon. A 
Ooh. Well now. Here you go, Norpanda. Bam. Alright. Time to go and face Flaw. And I don't know if this is the last part of this chapter, but we'll see in a second. White Death. You can't escape! I'm proud to say that I am the most persistent demon in all the netherworld. <laughs> Is that so? Wow, that's really something. Are you trying to make a fool of me? <laughs> no, I think that's the way she is. Oh boy. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little. But I'll have to use the item the Seraph gave me so I can only do it once. What? Are you ready? Here I go! What? Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. Dorian Dragon Dranago! Dragon? Did you just say dragon? Dragon, come forth! Yep, she said dragon. That's an issue. Prince, we have to fight this? We don't have much choice, do we? Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful on the. Oh boy. Level 8. 279 HP. Well. That, oh boy. Okay. It can move as far as here. I don't know what its attack power, or what its attack is like. Um. Okay, we'll get a few people out. Get some of our strongest out, actually. Etna. Defend. Actually. We'll open up like this. Prinnies! Away! Because why not? Prinny Barrage! Prinny Barrage! Prinny Barrage! No. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not risking anyone else right now. Oh, boy. This... Oh, this is a problem. They may die to poison. Although he hit his ally. Really? Come on. Come on, now. Okay, they're all alive, and you're all going to retreat. Get the hell out of there, boys. At least you don't die in here. Okay, so we'll have, we have a plan, kind of. Um, okay. So if I can take this one out. Impaler. Panda, you do a skull splitter. Okay. Oh, wait. If 
If I can take out... Yeah, that'll work. Let's take you out. This Flan herself is coming, unfortunately, as well. Oh, she's only level 5. She's not even a real issue. It's the dragon that's the main problem. Ah, damn it. Why did you have to survive? Oh, only three health? Oh, try it, Ayase. That didn't work. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, that was a heal. Oh, you douche. Oh, no. Ow. They took out Ayase. There goes my healer. Although, N Laharl actually knows heal now. Um. Okay, Laharl. Blazing Knuckle. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Sky Lunge Prinny Raid? Could work. Okay, Nor Panda, you get in here. Egg, you get in here. Etna, get behind the damn thing. Okay, yeah, this could work. This could work. Prinny Raid. Petite Flare, so that it won't counterattack. And then a Skull Splitter. Oh, yeah. Now that's some damage. Oh, he's going for Egg. Oh, God. Thank God Egg has a really high defense. Okay. We're just going to surround him and hit him. Yeah, Laharl first. Hurricane Slash. Boulder Crush. Petite Flare. And in case that isn't enough, we'll do an Impaler. Yeah, we should have more than enough damage here. Boom. Norpanda did it. Okay. Wow, you defeated my dragon. <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the great Laharl. Uh, excuse me, but why would I want to assassinate you? Hmm. Huh? I'm Angel Trainee Flan. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord, King Krichevskoy. You're here to kill my old man? <laughs> Your old man? That means you're the King's son? Doesn't anyone in Celestia read the newspaper? Hmm? You came all the way from Celestia for nothing. My old man died two years ago. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Uh, what? Oh, Flan. Hey, why are you crying? Oh. Your father passed away, right? You'll never see him again. Oh, Flan. When I think about that, it makes me sad. Huh? 
Are you crazy? You came here to assassinate him, right? Why should you be sad? He's got a Are point. Are you not sad? Me? I don't have that emotion. That's not true. When you lose someone or something important to you, you cry, don't you? Your heart aches, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand a word you're saying. How come? How come? Because I'm a demon, of course. Demons don't know sadness? E exactly! I've never experienced such an emotion in my entire life! Mm -hmm. If that's true, then does that mean demons don't know love either? Sadness is only possible because of love! You're right! Demons have no love either! That's... Mm. That's just... Too sad! Oh, Flan. She sounds just like my mother. How stupid. Love. What good is it? What's the point in having it? Love is the reason mother is dead. Oh boy. I don't believe. I'll never believe in love. If demons really don't know love, then it's my duty as a Celestian to explore the matter. I was ordered to assassinate the Overlord, but this must be a sign from the heavens. It has to be. Whether demons are pure evil or not, if they really don't feel love, I will bear witness to the truth. Hmm. What's love good for? I don't need it. Demons like me don't need that kind of crap. If that is true, then demons are a real threat to Celestia. Since I can't complete my mission, I have decided that my new goal is to learn the true nature of demons. I must know for certain whether or not demons are capable of love. Hmm. And if necessary, I will carry out my original mission with a new target. <laughs> All right, be my guest. I shall burn a true vision of horror into that empty head of yours. Oh boy. Angel trainee Flan joined your party. <sighs> Prince, what are you doing recruiting an assassin? an angel at that but this might avert his attention from me possibly <laughs> perfect timing <clears throat> episode 2 enter flan end uh oh at long last the nefarious Angel Flan seems to have forsaken her evil ways. Um. N nefarious Angel? But can an old dog learn new tricks? Flan suddenly reverts to killing machine, slaughtering a crowd of innocent demons. Wait, what? K killing machine? Finally, she transforms into a space monster. Could this be the end of the netherworld? Space monster? All right, it's time for me to transform. Next on Space Detective Etna, Episode Three: Etna versus Space Monster Flan. I'll protect the Netherworld at any cost. I want to be a space detective too. Too bad. <laughs> oh, Etna, Etna, Etna. Salary? Yep. Today is the Pretty Squad's payday. I get that part. 
Now, explain to me why I have to pay your vassal's salary. Okay, he has a point there. My vassals are your vassals, right? Well, then it's only natural that you sign their paychecks. Ugh, I can't argue with that. Hmm. Fine, but it's not coming out of my pocket. Huh? I thought you had plenty of money. That's my allowance. No one's touching it. <laughs> Stingy. Shut up! So who's the richest guy around here? We'll just loot his place. Not a bad plan. Is he always like this? Yep, always. <laughs> I've never met anybody like that in Celestia. I'd be amazed if you did. But you won't last long in the netherworld if something like this surprises you. Ooh, this is such a culture shock to me. Episode 3, A Hint of Kindness. Hey, OBS behave. Alright, okay, we're good. We're set, we're moving. Here's what we're gonna do real quick. Just a couple quick little things. First of all, we now have a flan. There's flan. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Rearrange manually. Flan, you come up here. Oop. That should work. What do you got? A witch's staff and a fancy lit. Oh boy. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Where's the. Where's. Where's the witch's staff you just lost? There it is. Okay. Hold on. Status. Flaunt. Uh. Right. I may want to give her a bow. Just so that she can actually do something. Power of love. So that's her healing ability. Okay. Eh, we'll see. Oh, wait, right. Two things I want to do before I end the episode. One. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? <clears throat> Celestial visitor. A funny angel arrived from Celestia recently. She has orders from the Seraph to assassinate the king. But the king died two years ago. What a bonehead. Anyway, if she gets in my way, I'll have to get rid of her. Simple as that. Alright. Do we need any healing? Yes, we do. Save. And before anything else, we're going to at least go up here and just see where we're going. I have located the richest demon in the vicinity, but due to a barrier, I cannot open the gate, a gate there. So, what can we do? You need a key. A key? Yes. In order to open a closed gate, you must fulfill a specific condition. The condition for this gate is that you must be equipped with an item that is level 10 or higher. The prince has to equip it? This gate key stuff is pretty picky. You must enter the item world in order to level up an item. Let me warn you that the item world has, for a highly ranked item has many strong enemies. My advice is to start with a common sword to avoid, avoid getting in over your head. Please be careful, prince. You received Mr. Gensey's exit. Tutorial. Mr. Gensey's exit. By using this item, you can return to the Overlord's Castle from the item world. In addition, you can return to where you left off at a later date. Alright. You, you heard the lady. So in the next episode, we're going to have to go to the item world. Which means... First of all, Mr. Gensey's exit. 
So basically, we're going to be able to go into the item world and get things set up. I'll explain that a little more later, though. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. Check out links in the description for Disgaea PC on Steam, and there are a few links there if you wish to contact me more directly, feel free to do so. And, well, in the next part, like I said, we'll be going straight to the item world, and then we'll check out uh, this richest demon. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Deseran. Oh, my. <laughs> You guys have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs>